Hello everybody, welcome to our Wednesday where we share words of wisdom. I am actually heading to work and um, on this fabulous Wednesday morning and I just said let me go on ahead and share what I would like to discuss with you guys on today. The word of wisdom for today, and I'm sorry for this sun, it, it's kind of beaming this morning. <laughs> The word of wisdom for today is sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. And you know, we 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 are in the season of giving, we're in the season of sharing. And so, you know, we know naturally we know how to share things. We can give of our abundance, we can give to people that are in need, to give to, to people who um have the desire to have things like our children and um, you know we can give to our loved ones but the sharing that I'm talking about is the sharing of your past the sharing of things that God has brought you from things that God has delivered you from you know sometimes we don't take the time to share our testimonies we don't share our testimonies. You know, we have testimony service at church. You know, a lot of times you don't see oh, too many people getting up to testify about the goodness of the Lord and what he has done for us. But how many of you know that when you share your life experiences with someone who may be, you may see them going down the same path that you have gone down but you survived. You came through it. God saw you through. You know, you might have had some bumps and bruises along the way. You you may have made some wrong turns. But to be able to share that information with someone could be so valuable for them in their life. But I think sometimes, you know, we don't share because we don't want to reveal some things about our past some things that we don't want people to know about us but how many of you know that there is healing in a, in a testimony that there is deliverance in a testimony you know and we need to share as much as we can to help others and that shows how much you care because you see that I see you in the state that you're in. I've been there. I've walked through that. But let me tell you, I've learned some lessons along the way. I came out of my situation, and you can too. God saw me through it, and he will see you through it too. Just to be an encouragement to someone, just to build someone else up. It is so important in this hour, you know, because people... They don't know where to turn. You know, many of us, we don't go to psychologists or psychiatrists and sit at the at the uh, the, the sofa, on the sofa, on, on, the, on the chair, in the chair, whatever. We don't do all of that. But there are people that are in our environment, that are in our churches, that are that are just random folk that we meet from from time to time that will open up and share. Their, their, their wisdom, share their experiences, share their knowledge of things that we may be encountering at this very moment. And it is so powerful. A testimony is so powerful. When you share and exchange information, it is so powerful. And we got to learn how to utilize what it is that we have in our storage. Those memories all of those testimonies God brought you through, they're in your storage. And sometimes you have to go into storage and pull out those testimonies because look, you're overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of your testimony. You are an overcomer. Now as you have overcame, help somebody else to overcome. As you have been delivered, Help somebody else through that process of deliverance. If you have been healed, help somebody else through that process of healing. If somebody prayed for you, 
You help somebody through their process and pray for them. Intercede for them. God designed us in such a way that he has enabled us to connect with one another. God said he's not coming down. But you know what? He has placed inside of each of us his gifts, his spirit, his nature that we are to share with the world. Share with those that are around us. Share with people that, that we don't even know. Sometimes God will lead you to people that you don't even know and just be able to share what it is that God has done in your life. I did it yesterday and it was just so divine how God set that thing up because I was not expecting that. I wasn't expecting, um, you know, just, just casually conversating with someone and then God just came in the room, you know, because you got to be able to acknowledge God in everything that you do. And so I allow God to minister through me. And at the same time, the young lady that was that, that God was ministering to through me, she was ministering back to me as well. And God was using her to do that. Iron sharpening iron. You know, and sometimes we are students and we are teachers. And then we are at places where we need some more teaching and training. Uh, then some in some areas of your life, you may have mastered where someone else is just beginning. But you're helping them because you are depositing in them some nuggets. You know, training is not just in the church house. Training is the people that's out here that's living this thing that you're talking about. Those are the ones that's going to train you in this thing because it's not all and I don't want to you know just diminish the pulpit but it's not all in the pulpit you know and we love pastors and we love leaders those who, who are who are overseeing uh, people you know who God has assigned to oversee and to, to nurture and feed the flock we love them we embrace them we honor them but the people out there in the trenches those are the ones that's going to really get you the proper training tools that you need. The pastor is designed to feed you the word of God to carry you through your dry seasons. But there are times when you need some intense training that those, the, those that are out there in the trenches, they're going to give you those nuggets. They're going to give you that training that you need to keep it moving, to keep it rolling. You know, and so, so you, you got to recognize that. You have to acknowledge that. Um, not everyone is going to a seminar. Not everyone is going to a conference. Your seminar and your conference might be that person that just walked into your life that God sent you that would give you a word, a rhema word for your situation right now. Right now. So, so let's be open and receptive to that. Don't shortchange yourself because you feel like, well, you know, I didn't get it at my at, at my former church. I didn't get it from my mom and dad. I didn't get it from those that, that I've connected myself with. God always have a ram in the bush, baby. And that ram in the bush is going to be everything that you need. That, that, that prophet that God sent your way is everything that you would need for the journey. That man or woman of God who is evangelizing that's going to from the to the highways and hedges compelling those to be saved he may send that one you don't know who he's going to use but if you are receptive to what God is doing God will use anybody in anything anybody and anything you hear me <laughs> you know you don't have to be dignified for God to use you you don't have to have all your subjects and verbs agreeing for God to use you. You don't have to be cute for God to use you. And you don't have to have it all together, all the finest thing, the finest clothing for God to use you. You just have to be available. Did you catch that? You just have to be available 
for God to use you. You have to surrender some parts of your life in order for God to use you. So sharing our message for today. Sharing as I, as I reach my destination. Sharing is caring. You, you, did you catch it? Sharing is caring. As much as you can, as often as you can, share what God has done in your life. Share it with these, the, the, the younger generation. Share it with the older generation. Share it with your generation. Let me tell you, they need it. I'm telling you, they need it. They need what you have. Your testimony, they need to hear it. You might not be on a platform to share it. It may be a one-on-one -on -one situation, but share it. They need your wisdom. They need your knowledge. They need your experience. Sharing is caring. This is our Wild Wednesday. You all be blessed on today and be encouraged. I love you. God loves you more. All right, now go out there and have yourself a successful day. You hear? All right. Bye-bye now.